Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you how I transformed my small dark kitchen into the bright white airy kitchen of my dreams. So this video shows how I painted my cabinets myself, but we started off by replacing the old Formica countertops with this beautiful white quartz with gray veining throughout. It's so soft and subtle. And that inspired us to change our subway tile backsplash to this beautiful marble backsplash in a gorgeous diamond shape that I fell in love with. We also tried our hand at board and batten and I feel like that made our space look a lot larger and brighter. I have all three of those videos on my channel, but for this project, we started by taking off all of the doors and bringing them down to the basement. We marked each door with T1234 for top or B1234 for bottom, and we cleaned them with TSP just to make sure all the grease and grime was off of them so they were ready for sanding. We waited till the following night to cover our floors, countertops, and make a spray tent in the basement. We wanted to take just one job each evening, Monday to Friday, leading up to the weekend of painting, just so we wouldn't get overwhelmed. It wouldn't be too much work all at once. So five days of prep. Um, then the following day, we sanded all of our doors with 220 sandpaper. We didn't want to remove finish, just get them scuffed and then wipe them all clean making sure there was no dust remaining vacuuming all the floors around you and then in between each coat of paint we used 400 grit sandpaper the next day we started priming our boxes and i used bin zinzer i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that correctly but it's a really good stain blocking primer i started off with a foam roller but then quickly switched to a short pile fabric roller, which I enjoyed better. Um, and I put a very thin layer of paint on and just moved it around because I wanted to build up the paint rather than glopping it on and having bumps and runs and roller marks. So yeah, we did a really thin coat. This is how the island looks with one coat of primer. And here's the difference between one coat of primer versus two coats. We decided to try a paint sprayer for our cabinet doors because we were able to make a tent in our unfinished basement and we figured it would go a little faster and have more of a professional finish. You did have to thin out the paint though, so that took a little time, but overall I think it was a better choice. And it was only around $50 on Amazon called Avid Power. It worked pretty well and there's better quality ones. There's really, really expensive ones, but we just wanted to try it for this one project and see if it worked and I think it did. Jim was a little bit nervous to use it at first. As you can see, the first door kind of was not like a nice cover. But once he figured out the settings and got more comfortable with the weight of it, the finish was really beautiful. While the doors were drying downstairs, I was able to come and put my first coat of Benjamin Moore Advanced Paint. On the right side is just the primer and on the left side it has one coat of the Benjamin Moore. And we chose Chantilly Lace in a pearl finish, just like this accent wall here, because we wanted to kind of draw your eye out and make the kitchen look bigger and more open rather than it just ending right there and just being heavy in this little corner. So I really, really love the advanced paint. It was self-leveling, which made any little imperfection kind of work itself out. You still have to put in, put on a thin layer like you did with the primer and just kind of build it up. Um, but I thought it looked beautiful and it dried so super hard. So you don't need to do a top coat, which is a bonus.
What made this project feel like it took forever was the fact that Benjamin Moore takes 16 hours to dry. So we had to wait for the next day to apply our next coat. And in between each coat, we had to sand and wipe everything down and vacuum the dust. So it just dragged on. The other problem we ran into was the fact that our doors are oak. Most people will put a skim coat of wood filler on their oak doors so that when they paint, the paint goes on smooth and there's no grooves or bumps. We didn't want a smooth finish like, you know, Ikea furniture. We wanted it to look like oak and real wood because they are real wood and we love that look. What we didn't realize would happen was in the parts that there was super, super deep grooves, um, the paint from the sprayer would kind of sit on the surface and then that air that was under in that deep groove would eventually bubble up or come to the surface as it would dry and so there were a few bubbles and a few marks that the old stain kind of peeked through but you can't tell when you're standing in your kitchen you can only tell when you go super up close but if I were to do this again, I would take that extra day to do the skim coat. So keep that in mind. But we do love seeing the wood grain, just not those little dimples that you can see up close. After our final coat of paint, we let the doors stay downstairs for two full days to dry before we put them back in our kitchen. They'll still take weeks to cure and get super hard, but we wanted to make sure it wasn't tacky before we handled them. Um, and this project took us two weeks from start to finish, from the very first day that we went out to buy supplies to the very last day where we put new handles on our doors. I got these on Amazon and I absolutely love them. Just a little tip though, if you don't wanna drill new holes in your doors, then make sure you're measuring the distance between where the screws would go and not the total length of your handle. So before the final reveal, let me remind you what the kitchen looked like when we first moved in. I actually like the color of these cabinets, but I guess cause it's a smaller kitchen, it just looked really heavy and dark in this one little corner. So I wanted a white kitchen to just open up the space and make it feel bigger. And I'm so happy I did.
hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. Also, leave your comments down below. Share if you can and subscribe for more videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.